if you're interested in taking a photograph with a smartphone like this through the eyepiece of your telescope, binocular, microscope or monoscope, then you're going to have real problems because lining up the camera with the eyepiece, getting it really central, getting it into focus and taking a picture is really difficult. But thankfully there are adapters on the market that help you to do this by attaching your phone firmly and accurately in exactly the right position to take your photo. And today we're going to be looking at the high precision phone adapter called the Tridapter from Move Shoot Move. Now before I show you the actual adapter, I firstly want to show you a couple of things that is useful to do on your phone before you start. And the first one is to take off the auto macro function. So if you just put your hand close to the lens, you'll get this macro symbol will appear in the bottom left hand corner. And you just touch on there, this is on iPhone, and disable that mode. And that will mean that you're always imaging through this lens here, which is the normal lens. The other thing is, you don't want to be clamping your phone onto this rubber eyepiece only for the eyepiece to pull off and your precious smartphone to drop on the ground. So I recommend that you remove any rubber eye cup from the eyepiece before you attach anything. So now we've done those two things, we're ready to look at the adapter. So the Move Shoot Move Tri Adapter comes in this rather nice protective bag and it's a really nicely made adapter. It's all metal and it's all uh, anodized and painted. It feels really nice and really, really nicely made. And it's clearly designed to give you a really fine fidelity of adjustment. Essentially what happens is you've got a clamp here for the eyepiece itself. So you can open that up to attach onto the eyepiece like this. And then you have smartphone fits in here. So we have a clamp for clamping the just take that off, have a clamp here for clamping the iPhone into position. And then we have uh, three axes of movement. So we can move the iPhone up and down using this one, left and right using this one. So these two are clearly to align the camera with the eyepiece. And then there's another one, which is this one, which actually moves the camera backwards and forwards away from and towards the eyepiece. So you've really got a full three axis control over the alignment of your phone. So let's have a go at actually attaching my iPhone to this adapter. Okay, so here's my iPhone and I want to attach it. This is the lens I want to use here. I need that to be roughly over the hole where the eyepiece is going to go. And you'll notice that the clamp is actually gonna hold on to the bottom of the iPhone. That's really good. It means it doesn't get in the way of the power on off button um, uh, or any of the other buttons, so it might, it's not going to cause an accidental uh, screen snapshot or something like that. So that's great, and you can see that I'm not properly aligned yet. My uh, camera lens needs to be about here, so I need to make some simple adjustments. Well, I can just loosen that slightly and slide the camera down so that's roughly right. And then I can start turning the sideways adjustment to bring the lens into the center. That's almost there. Okay, and now we can place the whole assembly over the eyepiece and tighten it up. And now that's tight, I can adjust the, the sort of fine tune the position if you like. Okay, so I'm not completely aligned. So at the moment, the camera is a bit off the face of the uh, eyepiece. But first of all, I'm going to get things centered. So I'll start with this adjustment up and down. So I can make sure that my view through the eyepiece is centered. And now I can adjust the sideways control. Get that in the middle. And now I'm going to go underneath, around the back, on the red adjuster. And I'm going to lower the camera down onto the eyepiece to close that gap between the lens and the eyepiece. There we go. So that's a really nice fidelity of control. And the other good thing is that the tri adapter comes with one of these remote shutters, uh, which works with iOS and with Android. So you can set that up so you don't need to touch your phone and disturb things when you're taking your pictures, you just press the button instead. So that's great. 
Okay, so I've set up my eight inch Newtonian with a solar filter and it's pointing at the sun and it's tracking its ideal rate. So hopefully the sun will soon stay reasonably centered, although I'm not actually polar aligned, so it'll probably drift a little bit. I've focused through the eyepiece on the sun and I've taken the rubber eye cup off. So it's time to fit the uh, iPhone. So I've put it in the adapter Got it recently centered. I've disabled auto macro mode. And now I can screw that on the front there. Okay, so you can see the sun in the image. I can zoom in on that. And I'm just gonna use the mount itself to center the sun. Now there's one small issue here, and that is there's a sort of blue tinge here. And that is stray light that's coming in from the side in between the eyepiece and the phone. So to deal with that, I'm gonna get a piece of electrical tape and just gently stick that on the side of the phone and that blocks that light path and that sorts that little issue. So let's shoot 10 seconds of video. And we'll shoot some photos as well. couple of photos, still shots. Okay, so all in all, a good experience, just that slight issue with the stray light coming in from the side, which I fixed with this little piece of electrical tape. So overall, I'm very impressed with the Tridapter. It's a very nicely engineered piece of kit. It's gonna last a long time, does exactly what it's intended to do. The only issue I found with it was this issue of light getting in from the side uh, between the phone and the adapter, uh, but that's easily fixed as I showed you with a piece of electrical tape down the side of the phone. Uh, if you want to go ahead and buy one of these, please do check the description under my video as there's a link there that will get you a 10% discount on your purchase. I hope you enjoyed the review and until next time, I wish you clear skies. Bye.